Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm joined today by Mark Seelenfreund. Mark is with Sayato Mobile. Mark, I've been following the story a little bit and trying to get to understand the business model. Tell me about your company. Is it a technology play? Is it a hardware play? Is it a software play? It's absolutely all three of them. Okay. It's a technology company that does hardware and also resells third-party software systems. Uh, we make cellular devices for commercial vehicles. That could be for buses, trucks, ambulances, police cars, uh, for basically enterprise customers. Um, so we make the hardware. We also sell third-party software comp company software platforms that sit on our hardware. Um, it's really next generation technology that is replacing push to talk uh, technology that's been in the world until now from land mobile radio. We're doing this over cellular networks. So we're very focused on the push to talk over cellular market, which is next generation technology. It's only been introduced over the past year. Okay, so how much, uh, who is your target client? Then? Our target market are the millions of commercial vehicles in North America and globally. Uh, just to give you an idea of the size of the market, there's over 12 million commercial vehicles just in the United States and Canada. Uh, globally, there's over 50 million commercial vehicles. Uh, so it's a very large-scale market that we're going after. And our goal is to replace these old, antique, two-way radio systems and replace them with next-generation, push-to-talk-over cellular systems that we make. So is there a big recurring revenue element to it? The recurring revenue element comes from third-party software that we sell together and we bundle with our products. Uh, so we don't actually develop applications, we work with third-party applications, and we think that we can gain a lot of recurring revenue from those third-party applications. All right, so how do you sell this product? Uh, our sales are done mainly through cellular operators and their dealers, uh, so we don't sell to the end customer, we don't sell to actual fleets. We work with cellular operators and then they go and sell to their customer base. Uh, it allows us to leverage the cellular operators' sales forces to their enterprise customers and then get our devices into those, into those fleets. So Mark, why would investors be looking at, uh, at your stock right now? Uh, the company is growing. We grew over 50% uh, between 2016 and 2017. Um, the company is going to grow again this year dramatically. Uh, we're coming out with new products. We're coming out with new customers that we expect to start selling to in 2018. Uh, we're going after a very large scale market. And we think that it's, uh, it's a very promising technology that we're working on, uh, which we should be able to sell in mass amounts in 2018 and beyond. I mean, a lot of technology companies out there, Mark, are building themselves to be sold. Are you building the company to sell it? Uh, we are not building the company to sell it. We're going after very large-scale markets and very large-scale opportunities. We think that we can make this into a multinational global telecom company. Um, so we're definitely not looking to sell the company because we think that we can be a leader in this market. Okay, Mark, so what makes your product unique? Really what we're doing is removing the clutter in the truck. Right now you have multiple devices from multiple vendors, about six to $10,000 worth of, of equipment, and the truck driver has to be able to use all of these devices at the same time. It's not a safe environment. What we're doing is taking one device, taking all that te technology, shrinking it into one device for less than $1,000. And our slogan is, keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. We believe that we're creating a much safer driving environment for commercial vehicles. All right, Mark, thank you very much for introducing us to the company. It sounds like 2018 will be an exciting year, and we'll look forward to hearing from you again. Thank you very much, and we plan to have a very exciting 2018. Thank you.